You ever seen those like zombie apocalypse films where people are just like everywhere? I'm in the um, train station at London Heathrow transferring to Terminal 5 and there's nobody here. It's dead. It's just... Nobody. This is kind of beery. I've got to wait for a train. <laughs> Maybe I've got the wrong day. Maybe there's no trains running. Perhaps it's like two in the morning and I don't realise it. Either way, it's a bit creepy. So let's just sit here and uh, wait for the train then. Audience? Audience? What? What are you doing on the top of the London Eye? That's precarious in there. <laughs> this random person here. Yeah. It's pretty high down down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I almost lost you there. So I'm at the top of the London Eye today with uh, who's this? This is my well, apparently my niece. What's your name? I don't know your name. Shannon. Shannon apparently her name's Shannon. I don't even know she's my niece um, yeah, I found myself with here and you just said you're my niece or something. And yeah, we thought we'd gone to London Eye together. It's great. Have a good look at the view. This is the top no no. So you're afraid. I think you you are afraid, aren't you? <laughs> well, this is the thing, right? You come up here and you're like, I want to go to London Night. You get up there, and then you're all quiet all of a sudden, didn't you? <laughs> you're just like, you're like, look at these people over here. Look. If you want to say something to them, say something to them now, because they can't hear you, and they can't get you either. And there's the famous Big Ben. Well. <laughs> I don't know why, I mean, I'm, I'm not impressed with the view, are you? It's just more buildings, there's lots of concrete. <laughs> well, that's my favourite two things actually, concrete and air. So, <laughs> concrete and air, actually I'm going to love that here. Let's see if we can find Snook in there. Uh, what's the other one? Nan. <laughs> no, I want that weak one, because you call him Snook and someone. It's down there somewhere. This is apparently the hotel, and it's like £300 per night. That's like how many dollars? Uh, <laughs> that out. They're from, I forgot to say they're from the States. Where are you from? Yeah. Philly. Maryland. What? Maryland. Oh, Maryland, not Philly. <laughs> Maryland. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, don't, don't cookies. Don't Maryland make cookies. Yeah. They do make cookies. <laughs> it is all very grand and smart until you get to that, though. It doesn't make any sense. This is just like these really nice beds, and then you've just got this weird, like, little tin metal thing with a. It doesn't even reach the end. <laughs> but this is all very smart. Is it a nice bathroom? Yeah, they have a scale in it, too. Scale, what? So you can oh, weigh yourself? Too. Should we have a look, shall we? Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. That kind of scale. It's a bit smaller than I thought. That's, that's all right, though. Pleasant enough. Oh, luggage. Mm. Pizza delivery. <laughs> Pizza's here. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Permission denied. <laughs> no, no pizza. No. Yeah, pizza. No. Oh, oh dear. Just the neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> on a margarita pizza. I want those little refrigerators. So I've come up. The park pl uh, park plaza. The rooms are pretty. I mean, it's a bit dark in here. They're pretty all right. They're pretty nice. Um, I'll, I'll go through it with you now because some of this stuff I found is quite funny. First of all, let's look at the view. Here's my curtains. If we open it, this is actually frosted glass. There is no view out of this window which pans from here to here. There's nothing out of it. What I do have is this little shard of glass here which I can see out of. Um, so, and even then, Actually, what is that? That's actually the reception down there. I'm not actually looking outside. Oh, God damn it, there's glass across there. That's glass. God damn it. That's not even outside. So, really, I have absolutely nothing. Nothing. Fuck all to look at. I haven't really tried the bed yet. I'll find out there when it feels okay. Then there's this. I'm assuming this is my emergency pull cord, um, which, uh, if I have a problem in the night, I may need to pull. But my worry is, look how close it is to the bed. You know, I could easily you know, roll over and pull that thing and set the fucking alarm off, which I think is a bit stupid. Um, this thing, this has got me, this, okay, I've got an iron, coat hangers, save, all the usual stuff. Then for some reason, when you open the door, this thing here, air conditioning. I don't know why you'd want your clothes air conditioned, but there's an air conditioning unit which turns on when you open this door, 
in there. I'm going to slate this place because it's pissed me off basically, guys, because uh, the fact that they uh, wouldn't give me my money back. What's this? Push to open. I don't know. This door's pretty cool. Like when you put your key card in it, it says don't push it because uh, this is my main door. Um, it says don't push it because it opens automatically. It does kind of open. Although I'm really annoyed with the fact that I can't, you can't, I can't actually lock my door. Damn lock won't lock, which is bloody ridiculous. Okay, bathroom. Um, oh, they did warn me it was a walk in shower. There's no bath. So, it, yeah, it is literally a walk in shower and another fucking full cord. And enough toilet paper to get me through the night. That's good. Um, so pretty basic shower cap. Don't think I need that. A couple of cups and some stuff. Mirror. Nothing really special here other than the. Uh, wait a sec. This is a disabled shower. Oh no. This is a disabled shower they've given me. I've got a disabled room. That would mean that would make sense for that then. Yeah, let's have a look in here. Okay, mini bar area. Ooh. I might take that. That's punishment for not giving me my money back, even though I haven't used the room. It's just stupid policy. Okay, interesting. Little half door there, and then... Uh -huh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't touch it. Be careful. I know these refrigerators. I've seen these fridges before. These are the automated ones. If you take anything out of it, it automatically charges you. So I can't, I've got to be very careful I don't set it off and make it think that I pulled something out. Okay, what's up here then? Oh, there we go, round here. And, oh, it's just locked. It must be like a circuit board or something there. So, yeah, that's my room, other than the fact I've got ugh, water spray. Um, they're kind of funky, little lights. I think I'm just going to chill out, lie in my bed, watch some British television, and make the most of my room that I've paid for, considering that it's 175 quid, which is about... $250 for this. No breakfast, just air, a roof, and that's it. A toilet. <laughs> that's just... God, that's like super amazing. Oh my God, 
Is that in 3D already? No. It's all around us. Oh, I can't go down. Oh. Cool cinema, wouldn't it? Ed, do you want one of these at home? Yeah.